Hey guys, so I am definitely a creature of habit. I have my little routines and rituals that I do to get me through my day. And once I create a habit, it's I'm pretty good at keeping it. So this week I want to talk about habits and some of the ways that I try really hard to form good habits. So anyway, like I was saying, I am someone, hi Sadie, you're breathing really heavy. <laughs> I just played fetch with Sadie in the yard for like 15 minutes and she's a hard runner so she's like dying out of breath. Okay, Sadie. Hi. Don't like this camera. <laughs> anyway, so all those distractions today. Um, I try to form really good habits for myself and the first good habit that I do have for myself is I try to get up early, even on the days I don't commute to the office. Uh, but the days I commute to the office, I am a couple towns away uh, and traffic is kind of crazy. So I get up early because I go through all my little rituals and routines in the morning and I want to have time to get through everything and not rush. Uh, and that way I just don't get worked up at the beginning of my day because I want to start my day relaxed. I want to have a great day. So I always give myself plenty of time. Sometimes I get up at like 5, 5.30 and I try to leave the house right now because it's summer and there's less traffic by like 6.30 or 7 at the very latest. And that gets me to work at like 7.15, 7.45, somewhere around there, depending on traffic. And I can start my work day early and just everything starts off earlier and I'm not in a rush and so that starts my day off really really well um, and so that's just like a really good habit I try to build for myself and I said earlier that I get up early which also means I try very hard to go to bed at a reasonable hour um, I try to go to bed at the same time every day because I have had problems sleeping my entire life and going to bed at the same time every day at least and getting up at the same time or a similar time most mornings really helps me sleep better. I still have a really hard time falling asleep because it's like my mind is like racing and going all day and then time to sleep it's not really easy to just burp, halt that and shut that off. It's just still going so it takes me a while to unwind. Um, I will sometimes read or look at like um, pictures in bed but I have the screen turned to orange uh, if I'm looking at a screen because the blue light um, actually kind of stimulates your brain to be awake. Look it up. I am not making that up. Uh, so like bright blue screen lights right before bed can be really bad. So I have a habit of not looking at blue lighting before bedtime to help me unwind and relax. I'm really attached to my calendar um, and everything goes on there and the things that are abnormal and don't happen uh, typically in my day since I do like have my routines and all that down. Um, having that on my calendar and seeing it in advance and preparing everything out in advance and just making sure I'm always prepared for everything and it just keeps me, uh, it's, a, it's a really good habit. That's like the best habit I have actually is anytime anything comes up that I have to remember I put it straight on my calendar or I also have a task list and I have a task list for work and I have a task list for my personal stuff. Um, and so anything that's date sensitive goes on the calendar. Anything I just need to do goes on a task list and it's a digital task list so I can order it where the most um, high priority items are on top and the lower priority items you know, are on the bottom. Um, and this just really keeps me on track. I write everything down um, and getting in the habit of doing that right away is really awesome. Another good habit I try to build for myself is to block off like certain chunks of time and I have them even on my calendar and they're called like inspiration times like every day where I will do my creative projects or my um, art you know anything like that or work on blogs or just read articles about the latest neuroscience and psychology uh, just my geek out time basically and my geek out time is my unwind relax and mostly learn time I try to make it like some kind of productive 
uh, time. I don't watch a lot of TV um, or anything like that. So I, it's like a good habit of doing some an enjoyable activity that it also enriches my life and helps me relax and unwind. And then the most important habit of my life is mindfulness. And this is a habit and also meditation, but more mindfulness lately that I have been working very hard on as a main focus in my life for the past like at least five years, if not longer. So I am always a work in progress, but it's getting better, it's getting easier, and it's finally getting a po to a point where it really can help me in my day-to-day um, -day life. When I first started meditating, it was like so hard, and I thought I was never gonna get it, and I, my mind would just like, just trying to count to two or three or four without my mind wandering off somewhere was impossible, so I thought there's no way I'm ever gonna still my mind. Um, but I kept trying because I'm determined and, um, I don't know, but I'm glad I kept trying. I didn't give up. Um, sometimes like I haven't practiced as hard and then I come back to it and I always come back to my practice and um, I'm glad I haven't given it up. Uh, but being mindful and uh, having like either meditation or yoga or some kind of just practice um, like that really helps to kind of slow uh, the racing brain. So that's another really important habit that I have. So those are just some of my little habits and rituals and routines that I do to keep myself productive um, and you know just on track. I also try to be really mindful if there are negative habits and if I notice something that's not good for me or a bad habit I try really hard to wean myself off of it. Um, and that's just, you know, it's not always easy. And sometimes these things take months or like mindfulness and meditation take years. Uh, but the best ones are harder work, but they're uh, worth it. So anyway, tell me, do you have any uh, like little habits or routines or rituals, things that you do that keep you on track? Like tell me your secrets, what do you do? Uh, tell me in the comments below, I'd love to learn more guys. Anyway, I will talk to you next week.